Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're doing a European outlook for today's second video. So, as always, on a Thursday, we have a detailed look at the weather for the next week's 10 days across Europe. And I shall get over that for you in a moment, just to say that first. Video is there as our 6am UK weather forecast. And we've also uh, got a 10 to 14 day coming up for you later on today as well. That will include all of the regular features. Please like, share, and subscribe on all today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that for Gaz Worthy. Thank you so much. Right, let's start our situation across Europe today. That's got a big area of high pressure dominating across southwestern, western, and also central parts of Europe. This is a big ridge from the Azores high that's built in across much of Europe. We have, of course, still got low pressure in the far north and west Europe, but most parts of Europe dominated by high pressure. Other air temperatures looking uh, warm across uh, most areas. Still a bit on the cold zone in the far north of Scandinavia and quite hot when we come down towards Spain and Portugal. Over that ridge, there's loads of dry weather. We have got some wet conditions moving in towards Ireland. There's more rain with much snow probably on the northern edge heading in towards Norway. And uh, a little bit of uh, wet weather through the Baltic Sea area in towards the Baltic Sea states. So, black, the Estonia and Lithuania. And there's some thunderstorms down towards North Africa just pushing into southern portions of the Mediterranean. But these are the exceptions to rule. Most parts of Europe are looking dry as a bone with that area of high pressure and uh, there's lots of uh, mild or warm temperatures as well so it is quite cold in the far north of Scandinavia and Nordic regions still but uh, otherwise most areas seeing uh, pleasantly warm temperatures and looking very warm down towards Spain and Portugal temperatures well into 20 Celsius there and on the eastern side of Europe as well. <coughs> So, sorry, everyone. Right, here we go. It's Friday. Then high pressure still ruling the roost in many parts of Europe, especially through these western, southwestern regions. Again, low pressures in the Atlantic and Norway, you see, trying to push in from the west as well. Upper air temperatures still looking pretty warm in most areas. And again, we see lots of dry weather and wet air high pressure once more. There's some thunderous storms, some thundery showers and storms across northern parts of Africa. Some showery rain through Ireland and Scotland and wet weather pushing in towards Norway again. So that could turn to snow in the north and across mountainous regions. There's still very showery conditions through eastern portions of Sweden heading in towards the uh, Baltic Sea. But once more, these are the to rural high pressure is dominating in most areas tomorrow. And the temperatures are looking very mild, if not warm. And down to Spain and Portugal, pretty hot once again. Just cold in the far north of Scandinavia. And then we move on into Saturday. That high pressure starts to get flattened off as lower pressure starts coming in from off the Atlantic. So it begins to look a little bit more unsettled through Scandinavia in towards Ireland and the UK. Upper air temperatures still looking warm or very warm actually through much of um, Spain and Portugal up in towards France and southern parts of Germany and northern Italy. It's very significantly above average upper air temperatures there. Somewhat cooler further north but still generally on the mild side. Just some colder air approaching Norway, Ireland and western parts of Scotland. Outbreaks of rain on Saturday through the uh, UK and Ireland. Some showery rain, again, could be snowy mountainous areas in towards Norway and over in Sweden into Baltic Sea. No most of them down across North Africa, but most areas, yet again, looking mainly dry on Saturday. Very warm with the temperature, easy into the uh, low to mid 20 Celsius through France, Spain, and Portugal. Also, it's sending into the low countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, and in towards uh, uh, Germany as well. It is cooler though as we push up further north into Scandinavia, UK and Ireland. Some cooler air starting to dig in from uh, the northwest through there. Heading in towards Sunday again, low pressures through Scandinavia and the Nordic regions. I've got another low over towards Iceland. That would be trying to uh, push in towards the UK and Ireland. And the ridge generally weakening just a little bit across other parts of Europe. Upper air temperatures looking cooler now in the north and the west of Europe. Not cold, but looking cooler. Um, the warmth is being squashed further southwards and eastwards. So we see the warmth really picking up through the Balkans, for example, and over towards the Black Sea, down towards Greece and Turkey as well. But anywhere from about northern France and central parts of Germany, northward, just that little bit cooler when we get through into Sunday. There is a cold front that's marking the boundary with that. Very weak affair, but about a patchy rain through France, low country Germany, 
and Poland. It gets a bit heavier as it pushes up towards Belarus and the Baltic Sea states. And then recurve back in towards Finland, Scandinavia, uh, Finland, Sweden and uh, Norway as well. Behind that, we've got showery conditions moving in towards the UK and Ireland and Southern Europe, but including the men, looking main dry on Sunday. Very warm, if not quite hot, through the southern, east and southeastern portions of Europe. Again, cooler out towards the north and the west. That takes us through into Monday where low pressure is beginning to drop in towards the North Sea. So just an increasingly unsettled flavour to the weather by the middle of next week. I think an, un an increasingly unsettled look across the north and west Europe and even across more central and southern parts of Europe actually that ridge is weakening and beginning to pull back out into the Atlantic. The warm upper air temperatures really being squeezed down into the southeastern portion of Europe by Monday. So Italy over the Adriatic to the uh, Balkans and up towards um, uh, the Black Sea and into Ukraine and then south into towards Greece and Turkey. That's where we've got the warmest of the upper air temperatures. Meanwhile, further north and west looking increasingly cool. Actually some quite cold air starting to dig back in towards Norway, Sweden, the UK and I with minus 5 Celsius ice firm. And more unsettled Lot for precipitation as well. Those showers or longer spells of rain pushing east towards from the UK and Ireland in towards Denmark, some parts of but not in Sweden, and also into the low countries of Germany too. That cold front marking the boundary between the Kuret and Warret is sort of intensifying, reinvigorating as well on Monday. Though some uh, heavy showers, maybe thunderstorms extending from Ukraine through Poland down towards Austria, Hungary, and in towards northern parts of Italy as well. To the south, the east of that main drive, a few scattered showers uh, in the central part of the mayor, but main drive to the south and the east of that cold front. And wintry showers, snow showers coming back into northern parts of uh, Scandinavia as well. Not a big contrast in temperature, actually really warm, if not hot here, from uh, the Asiatic to the Black Sea. Um, but to the northwest of that, a lot cooler. Actually, cold air is digging in to uh, Norway, Sweden, the UK and Ireland, I think, by the time you get into um, Monday. Tuesday takes that trough of low pressure, moves it into the northeast of part of Europe. High pressure is now well and truly pulled back out into the Atlantic, so all parts of Europe looking uh, uh, much lower with pressure, and we're pulling in a cold northerly across northern and western parts of Europe as well. Upper air temperatures looking cool or cold in uh, many central, northern and western and northwestern parts of Europe. The warmest upper air temperatures are for Spain and Portugal, and then in the southeastern portion of the Med through uh, Greece and Turkey, even into the Balkans, starting to cool down by the time you get through into Tuesday. And an unsettled look as well. So as pressure lowers, there's more you know, uh, of a chance of precipitation. Uh, heavy showers and thunderstorms breaking out through southern parts of Italy, intersection by the Med. Wet weather over the Alps, into towards Austria, Hungary, and going northwards, we have a mix of rain, possibly with sink snow places as well, as we're coming into northern parts of Europe. It looks quite wet through the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, up towards Finland, Sweden and Norway. Showers, longer spells of rain, sea and snow. And uh, wintry showers, possibly affecting parts of the low countries and northern and western Germany as well. Spain and Portugal on the central part of the Medbo, looking mostly dry and quite hot across southern parts of Spain. But otherwise, there is a cool down going on and actually looking really quite chilly, if not cold, in the north and the west of the Europe there. And then we go through into uh, Thursday, uh, into Wednesday, I should say, and we look like this with high pressure getting out in the Atlantic. Low pressure is to our east. Most areas under a trough of low in the north of Europe and increasingly cold air digging back in towards Scandinavia. What well, quite remarkable uh, with that. So uh, looking uh, really quite cold up there. Otherwise, it's showery across northern, uh, and it's cool, I should say, across the central northwest parts of Europe, the warmest upper air temperature down towards Spain, Portugal, and over towards the uh, Middle East. But you see, there is a big cool down with those upper air temperatures from uh, where we are right now to where we'll be by mid of next week. Most of the set of weather is should be eastern portion of Europe. Again, rather showering out to uh, the north and the west, main dry of southwestern parts of Europe by Wednesday, and it's cold, in fact, increasingly cold across Scandinavia and Nordic regions, with some really bitter air uh, digging in across Norway, central northern parts of Sweden, and also in towards Finland as well. Otherwise, quite chilly through northern and western parts of Europe, but even to southern Europe, there is a cool down uh, that we see quite clearly there. And then that takes us through into Thursday, where we fight again. High pressure is in the Atlantic, uh, reaching back in towards the west of Europe, actually. But most parts of northern and central and eastern Europe under uh, quite a deep trough 
of uh, low pressure. Upper air temperatures look cold across northern parts of Europe. Again, uh, chilly in other parts of Europe. We have to come down towards Spain. Portugal to find anything notably warm. Very hot air starting to gather in towards northern parts of Africa, by the way. That will be with us, I suspect, later on in the summer in a couple of months' time. Um, precipitation wise, really wet over on the eastern side of Europe. Heavy showers, long spells, rain, possibly thunderstorms mixed in. Showery conditions to be west and north of that. And again, cold up some of those showers to be windy, especially through Scandinavia and uh, Nordic regions. Once more, see southern France, Spain, Portugal, the central part of the bed, mostly dry next Thursday. And the temperature is cold across northern parts of Europe and chilly in other parts of Europe. Again, it's down in far south and southwest of Europe, but most of uh, the survey temperatures and the upper air temperatures are holding up. Just where you are today, 10. So the trend as we get to the end of next week and into the weekend of 23rd, uh, 20, 21st of April is the high pressure to be increasingly dominant across western parts of Europe but still looking very unsettled in the north of the east with that trough of low pressure and still looking cold as well with winds generally coming from a northerly or a northeasterly um, direction so settling down maybe as we get in towards uh, western portions of uh, Europe but uh, looking unsettled through uh, northern and also um, uh, eastern parts of Europe as well Right, so uh, that's your European outlook for this week. If you've enjoyed the forecast, found it useful and informative, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll do it all over again next Thursday. We're going to be back with your 10 to 14 day of that. We'll include all our regular features. Come back for that a little bit later on for the European outlook for this week. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.